Oh, that's why I don't. Okay, never mind. Uh, yeah, I forgot I had to do a uh, reset on the phone and stuff like that. But anyway, anyway, let me talk to you. Anyway, <laughs> I only night reference, and I'm gonna do that at the end too, so you'll know what I mean. But anyway, uh, this is uh the big D zone, and boy, I'm not gonna do the week 16 yet because I had to formulate some um what I'm gonna talk about. But there was a let me tell you, Big D Country International, no, the Big D Country Invitational was crazy. Absolutely crazy. Now I I liked it both teams, but the situation did not end well for uh, one of the teams. Let me add, tell you that. But uh, another one of my team was very lucky, to say the least. Very lucky to say the least. But uh, and yes, the announcer has done it again for the second time. In a row, the announcer slipped up and said, Travis K's wife again. I will get to that in the aftermath of week 16. But for now, uh, I am going to go ahead and do week 17 uh, for the New Year's uh, NFL. So, I I think I got a song for this. Um, to all the season come to an end and never brought to mind. We have the playoffs and the Super Bowl. We'll have a no good time. In the NFL pickup. In the NFL pickup. We'll have a grand old time right here in the NFL pickup. Yep. Uh, that means it's almost New Year's Eve. And uh, how was your Christmas, everybody? Yeah. <laughs> well, let's just say at least I uh, was able to eat finally. So at least that's good. At least that's good. But anyway, let's just get to the shenanigans of uh, who I will pick on week 17. And boy, when I get to the uh, aftermath, I got some rants to tell you. Wow. I mean, <laughs> I can't wait to talk about that helmet toss. And right in front of, right in front of Taylor Swift. <laughs> that, that, that was comical. That was absolutely comical. I, I, I never had, I never laughed so hard. And what was the announcer thinking about? I didn't know what he was thinking, but it was almost like he was trying to sing. I couldn't even think of what the heck he was singing. Because I was trying to fix them on, on the game. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Calm down. Uh, save that for the aftermath, bud. Oh, my God. The video that I saw. Wow. Anyway. Uh, the first game will be the, uh, the week 17. So, only two more weeks to go. The, the, this week and then next week. So, yeah. I know some teams are in the playoffs and some teams are out. Well, probably definitely the Broncos, so I'm not even sure. I could definitely know it's definitely uh, the Broncos are definitely out from what I'm from, from what my understanding. But anyway, the Jets versus the Browns taking the uh, taking the field at 7:15 p.m. on Thursday night action. I'm definitely gonna go double down here. Uh, Jets will be the head, and well, I mean, I kind of feel sorry that uh, Aaron Rodgers wasn't able to take part in the action the rest of the season, and uh, you know he had one one game and he got injured, wasn't able to play the whole season. We're already here at week seventeen, but uh, anyway, and the Browns is having a uh, fifty fifty season. I don't know if they'll make it to the playoffs yet, but uh, we'll see. So that will kick off at 7.15, like I said, on Thursday night. Jazz versus Brown. Jazz will be the head, and Brown will be the tail. All right. Now. Oh. You got one Saturday game? And what is what the NFL has been putting Saturdays in? Is this going to be new? Are they going to have more of that on the uh, 2024 season? I mean, we have a Saturday night game at 715. 
Oh boy, but guess who it's up against? The Lucky Lions versus one of my other teams, the Dallas Cowboys. So I'm going to have to do a ride or die. I want the Cowboys to win on a Saturday night. That's what I want. All right. Uh, okay, now we're back to the regular Sunday schedule. The 12, uh, This is the 12 p.m. game that, that, that I say, though. But the Texans is going to be facing the Titans. Again, the t uh, two teams are facing off each other again. Uh... Of course, I'm going to put the Texans as the head. That now, that is now focused as my home team now, the, the Houston Texans. Uh, and the Titans will be the tail. All right. Now, the Chiefs will always be a part of my uh, team, but they're not going to be my home team now. But the Texans will be, the Texans and the Cowboys uh, will be my home team moving forward. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. And Las Vegas is still my team, too. So, but wow. Wow. Anyway. Uh, yeah. So, Texas uh, head and Titans is the tail. I established that. The Bears versus the Falcons. And I'm going to do a double down. The uh, Bears will be the head and Falcons will be the tail. Another double down would be the Bears and the Ravens. The Ravens will be the uh no 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 no. I think the Dolphins Dolphins may have a better chance of getting through the playoff than the Ravens. So I'm gonna say, uh, the Dolphins will be the head and the Ravens will be the tail. Yeah, that's much better. I mean, cause the Dolphins have been killing it most of the season. I mean, absolutely killing it. Especially after that 70, 70 to something win over the Broncos, seventy to twenty win over the Broncos. I mean, even right after I came back from a podcast moment. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, I still, I still can't get over that. All right, the Saints versus the oh boy, the Saints versus one of Tom Brady's teams. Okay, I'm gonna go with Saints. I'm gonna. This is the the other ride or die. Okay, this is the other ride or die situation. I'm going all in on the Saints. Uh, the crazy Pats, crazy enemy Pats, versus the Bills. This is gonna be the third all in, and I'm going all in on the Chief Justice team. I am all in on the Bills. All right. Oh, speaking of the devil, one of uh, one of Taylor Swift family members, uh, yeah, I think one of Taylor Swift family members, uh, and then uh, and then Travis K family member are on the particular team that I'm doing a double down on. Would you guess the Philadelphia Eagles? I think that's right. Yeah. So, boy, I mean. The Chiefs and Eagles, huh? Yeah. But anyway, but that's not that game. No. Uh, the game that I'm going to be predicting now is the Cardinals versus the Eagles. So since we got all this drama with the Chiefs and the Eagles and everything, and it turned out to be a family affair, I'm going to put the Eagles in the head or at the head and the Cardinals at the tails. Okay, so how many rider died that I did? One... Two, yeah, one, two, three, ride or die, and I'm about to, do, three ride or die, I'm about to do another. Especially after what the Panthers did on a game that the Houston Texans lost on after they had to redo a field goal. Thanks to the refs. So I'm going to have to go all in, ride or die with the Jaguars. Yeah, that's what I have to do. All right. All right, after they, wow, after they just did a did a um, wow, after what happened on Christmas Day, uh, and the Raiders were very lucky on Christmas Day, even with Santa present, uh, the Raiders was gonna be facing the Colts, and of course, I'm gonna pick the Raiders at the head and the Colts at the tails. Okay, so that's one, two, 
Yeah, one, two, three. Is this going to be another week of double downs, even on the week before the last week? Really? Is this going to be another? Oh, great. One, two, three, four. I'm going to have another set of double downs. Watch. This is ridiculous. Okay. So, the traders, and if anybody should know that uh, the traders that I'm talking about, Thram, stupid Thram, so let's think, Lewis. I'm going to be picking the New York Giants all the way. I'm all in. And again, on the, on the, on the, um, all in on San Francisco faces the stupidest name in the history of football, the Commanders. I'm going with the 49ers all in, by the way. Okay, this is the first 305 game. Now it's the S, uh, now it's the S battle of the S team. Okay, so we had the battle of the T team, and then we had the battle of the S team. Steelers versus Seahawks. Hmm. I'm going Steelers with the, I'm going Steelers head, Seahawks the, yeah, Seahawks the tail. All right. Now the 325 game. I don't know what this could be an easy win for the Chiefs, but then again, after what happened to the Raider, uh, the Raiders, and then especially the funny, uh, the funny, um, the funny helmet throw that got me cracking up laughing. I don't know what's going to go on the down. I mean, I mean, it was a meltdown at the end of that game. I mean, it was a. I thought my meltdown was going to be bad, but then again, I don't get the chance to have a meltdown yet because it haven't even happened. But anyway, that was going to happen on the birthday. That was going to happen on Christmas. None of that happened. Are they going to wait to New Year's? Are they going to keep the suspense? And then keep me from having a meltdown until New Year when I'm supposed to be starting a year anew. I haven't even gotten to the state of Big D Country addressed yet. <sighs> At least let me do the state of Big D Country address next year. At least. <sighs> anyway, anyway. Bengals versus Chief. I got to now. Even though they they did not have a, a, a great performance that that day, but I still like both teams. Though it didn't really matter to me because I like them both. But uh, Chiefs is going to be the head, and the uh, Bang Bengals is going to be the tail. That's a three twenty five game. Another three twenty five. Oh, oh God! Really. I don't know if I really want to pick this game because the Broncos have been having a terrible season and I don't like the Chargers. You know what? I have to make an executive uh, I have to make an executive order and I'm not going to pick between the Chargers and the Broncos because, because the Broncos have been having luckluster games and I mean especially after that I don't I don't know what the Dolphins kryptonite you mean to tell me they have not gained back anything since they lost to the Dolphins? Have the Dolphins been clipped tonight? That's what I want to know. That's what I want to know. Anyway, so I'm not picking between the Dolphins and the Chargers. Plus, I already have a lot of rider die. Like, I have about five or six rider die that it is already. All right. Oh. Uh, Monday night, uh, whoa, there's no Sunday night game, so the last Sunday game is, uh, oh, no, wait a minute, there's no Monday night game. I'm sorry. I made an all shot. So there's no Monday night game on week 17. Okay. Maybe that's why they put it in Saturday's game. I don't know. I'm so used to seeing Monday's game after the, uh, the, the evening game at 720, which is going to be the Packers versus the Vikings, and it's going to be a double down. The Packers is going to be the head, and the Vikings is going to be the tail. I, 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 I tell you one thing. I tell you one thing. I have never been involved in the most insane, crazy NFL pickup since I first started doing the NFL pickup while I was in St. Louis, Missouri. I, 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 I mean, bizarre, bizarre plays, bizarre calls. That started up the invention of the double down. 
and also started and then some sometimes uh teams that i don't like or even me and and uh chief justice don't like uh started the ride or die i mean this has been a crazy football uh, nfl pickup but i'm gonna keep yeah i'm gonna keep the ride or die and i'm gonna keep the double down every time that i uh do the uh i do the uh nfl pickup yeah so the ride or die continue and the double down continues all right, I do before I shuffle off to uh, uh, shuffle off to the second palace. Oh wait, I'm already in the second palace. But anyway, uh, yeah, I have an announcement to make. Um, I am toying with the idea of possibly returning to college. Maybe, if at all, at least to finish my associate degree. At least, at least. Uh, I mean, I know that I did promise my late wife uh, as a memorial that I'll try to finish school, but uh, with my mental health state, you know, it's been it's been crazy. And then I I do have a below average IQ of eighty five, but I can still do this if at all possible. Uh, but I will keep you all posted in this journey. I'm looking into several schools already. And I don't know how much I will be able to finish at times or, you know, probably get to a couple of self-paced co- uh, courses if I, if I possibly can. You know, maybe take it easy, take it slow, because I still have a lot of mental health uh, issues uh, within me. So I just take it slow, relax, and, you know, don't like that. But anyway, I hope you had a Merry Christmas and... Uh, and well, at least at least you was you with your family and everything like that. Uh, so the New Year's is coming in. I could take New Year's. I mean, it's only you know watching the ball drop or watching the fireworks. And well, even though I won't have nobody kiss on New Year's Eve in real life, but yeah, that's embarrassing. But but I could still take New Year's. I could take New Year's. So. That is it. That is the NFL pickup for week 17. And I will be doing the... Uh, uh, yes, it does get cold in Texas. Yeah. Contrary to the belief, it does get cold in Texas. So, anyway. That's it. Week 17. And I will do the aftermath of week 16 anytime this weekend.